Hello, good day to you, it's me Andy and Token really. And a quick uh, video, uh, just to discuss the, uh, the whole idea uh, that you and me, we're in a, uh, an abusive relationship with the people in charge, the government, the Tories, Bojo, Hancock, they are abusing us. And we have 15 signs that they are abusing us although to be fair one of them is a bit strange so let's go through these 15 signs that they are narcissistic gaslighting abusers so item one uh they stop you from seeing your family and friends think about it you can't see granny, but you can see granddad, but you can't see them at the same time. In the garden, not in the house. But you can see granny in the house, but only on Thursday. You've got, you can't out go and see your elderly relatives in the care home. Uh, you can only look at them through the window. You can't go shopping with anybody except your uh, children. And even then, there's only one of them you can go with. It's like these rules. Yeah? Think about it. So, reason number two, they won't let you go out without permission. Think about it. You can't go out if there's been a curfew. You cannot go, you have to come out of the pub uh, when they were open. 10 o'clock and then 11 o'clock and you can't go to shopping uh, only once a week you exercise one hour a day uh, what else you know all of these things where you cannot do something unless you're told that you can reason three is a bit weird and i don't know if they have done this but they might have done they might have done but they tell you what you to what to wear have they done that maybe not but hey it's early days so maybe you can only go shopping in wellies i don't mean woolies i mean wellies actually after i made this i realized that they have tr or, um tried to make people wear stuff even though it was not a direct order they've had the issues with the lanyard if you remember people being forced to wear stuff that they don't have to wear reason four they monitor your phone and emails i bet they do do you realize that they have government departments that are uh, spying on you they are monitoring your every action it's called spy b and 77 brigade plus mi5 mi6 there are plenty of government spies who are looking at you they're checking your emails uh, um, and your what you do online basically reason number five they control your finances or they won't let you work think about it when was furlough everybody should stop working all the shops should shut your businesses should close right oh don't worry we'll give you some money we'll pay you some furlough but it's not for everybody okay this leads into later on being ubi where they have more control over you if you don't behave they just withdraw your money and you get nothing Reason six, that we're in a, a abusive relationship. They control what you read, watch, and say. Although, to be fair, they're finding that very difficult at the moment. But they are controlling the various uh, news articles, news outlets. They've got social media. They've got the... Uh, fact checkers 
uh, putting in that propaganda. And of course, we've got the BBC telling everybody to remain fearful. Item number seven in our list is they monitor everything you do. They do because they are out there. There's 77 brigade which are uh, paid to go onto social media and um, push the propaganda. So if they if they go onto a group and you're anti whatever, they'll be on there pushing the narrative and and re keeping an eye on you as well. Reason number eight in this abusive relationship they punish you for breaking the rules but the rules keep changing think about it yeah how many times have we had a rule change and nobody knows what the hell is going on so you can go out on Fridays so you have to you can't go out on Tuesday you have to go between one and two on, on Thursday uh, you can only go to a shop when it's um, w when it's raining, um, you know, stupid ideas like that. You go and see your granny, but you can't see your granddad. And if you break the rules, then you get punished. You've been very naughty, so we're going to lock you down again. We're going to close all the pubs. No, we're not. We're going to open them. Yeah, but you can only go in there until 10 o'clock. Think about it. So, reason number eight in our list, they tell you it should be your own good and that they know better. Yeah, so this is to flatten the curve, it is to control the pandemic, control the virus, face, space, blah, blah, blah. You know, if you do it, it's for your own good, your own, keep safe. Yeah, right. Reason 10, and this is quite important because they don't allow you to question it. You cannot ask about the jib jab. If you do, you get a barrage of hate. Uh, anybody that mentions uh, anything to do with anything, you're an anti, anti whatever, you're a conspiracy theorist. They do not allow you because there's fact checkers who are correcting what you're saying even if it is wrong on their end. Uh, so yes, they don't allow you to question it. Reason 11, they tell you you're crazy. No one agrees with you. Of course they don't. No, why would they agree with you? You're wrong, we're right. We know best. Don't listen to that professional who's had many years of experience. This is to us. We'll tell you. Reason number eight. They call you names or shame you for being stupid or selfish. Yes, don't go out without a mask. You're selfish. You're not thinking of anybody else except yourself. And we have the, the situation of they are encouraging half of the population to shame the other half. They are marginalising disabled people by their um, apparent rules. And we've had that this week. Reason 13, they gaslight you, challenge your memory of events, and they make you doubt yourself. We had this at right at the beginning. They tried to claim that they had done something on a certain date, and it was proven to be wrong. It was actually before that date, or after that date. I don't know which. I can't remember now. See, they, they confused me. But yes, gaslighting. They'll tell you one thing and then they'll turn around and say, no, no, we didn't say that. 
Reason 14, they will dismiss your opinions or anybody is, uh, that says anything otherwise. So all of these professionals, these medical people, are all telling them things. No, no, no. We're, we're correct. We're right. And lastly, reason 15, when things go wrong, it's your fault. Yep. You didn't wear masks. We've got numbers going up. It's all your fault. All these people dying because you're not doing social distancing. It's all your fault. You went out and started eating in restaurants. E eat out to save the restaurants. It's your fault because you went out and did it. And now we've got loads of people dying. It's your fault. Is anybody thinking now that perhaps we're being abused? There's only one way to fight a bully, and that's to stand up and say no more. But if you are there thinking, oh, it's not too bad, I don't agree with any of that, then you are probably half the problem. Uh, people like you, who are causing this by compliance. So that's the 15 signs that we are being abused. Uh, and of course, it's up to you what you do about it. Have a good day. Catch you next video.